<laughs> it's big, big. You know it's gonna be big, big. It's a lot of dog breeders that still breed old school dogs. And some of their old school dogs come out pocky. They come out pocket. They come out pocket naturally. At first, there was a big thing about these cleft palates on the dog's lips. You know, they was unable to eat. Now the only way you can get these pallets so like I say from these heavy inbreeding are breeding in dogs that have those things like dogs that are brachiocephalic breeding in brachiocephalic dogs to an American bully that's big that's big right there it's just big <laughs> I'm saying what's big man <laughs> what's big big is when you take them dogs that are brachiocephalic and breed them to an American bully that's big Beef is when you taking the air and, and you just you just cutting they, they they throws down so small that they can't even get chicken and food in there. They can't get air in there. And it's like the dogs are breathing through a straw. That's beef, man. That's beef. When your dog can't even eat no more because he got small teeth. That's beef. That's beef. When you have dogs that don't got teeth, that's beef. First, they didn't have no feet. They, they didn't have no ankles. They didn't have no hawks. They had splayed feet. American bullies. That's beef. Obvious the game's new to ya. <laughs> Man, that's beef. You know what I'm saying? Beef is when you come up in there and you got a cheat. And you got to bring in the, the little bitty dog. Substitute him in there so you can cheat and beat the real original pocket that come from Razor's Edge. Knock him out the way because he wasn't colorful enough. That's basically why they knocked him out the way. He wasn't colorful enough. We need to put more color on him. That's big. That's big. Look what that snake shit bought you. That's big. What's big though? Is when you stop taking your dogs to the vet. And your dog has never been introduced into medicine. And you wonder why when they get in this car, they always get sick. They get sick all the time. They're like motion sick, sickness sick. You know what I mean? You got more and more dogs catching parvo now. Maybe it's because there's so many dogs around that there's so much poop and pee around that the ones with the weak immune systems always go first. That's big. Dogs with weak immune systems is big. <laughs> That's big, man. That's big. I understand that one. And you know what I mean? What's beef in the dog world? Big beef. So then you just start to cheat. You can see the cheating going on big time. Big beef. You know what I mean? It's just big beef. Big beef, man. I understand it. It make you want to go to the dog show and just be real quiet. Just sit there and just look at stuff. 
Because you already know that this stuff has, you know, took took a time. But what you want to do is you want to go up in there and just see. And then you want to be the first person to put your bulldog on some paperwork and send him up in there. <laughs> yeah, I think I might do that. I just don't see nothing wrong with me bringing a bulldog to my dog and sending the paperwork in. If I can't send the paperwork in, that's big too. That's big. That's big right there. The youngsters in the street be saying, it's up. Well, right now, it gotta be up. Ain't it up? Huh? It's not up? Ain't nobody mad yet? It ain't up? If we mad, we gotta come together like a community and speak about it. And then, you know, do whatever is necessary. Go to the next step. Help each other. Steel sharp and steel. There's not one person on here, probably not two, that's smarter than the next person. I mean, it ain't so registered. It's not your register. So, you know, to be truthful, you can always do something different. And uh, you don't even have to <laughs> register it with these registries that don't like it. I'm not encouraging you to go and breed to no bulldog. But what I am saying is if you breed to a bulldog, put that bulldog on that paperwork and send his ass to that register. Or oh, that's beef. Claws and breeding is beef. Claws and breeding? That's beef. Breeding in the claws and shit? That's beef right there. Come on, man. Who's starting all this beef, man? Me? I'm just a spokesman. I'm an outspoken spokesman. I'm going to tell the truth if I see the truth. Even if I bring a dog to a bulldog, I'll tell you I did it. I won't even feel bad, no motherfucking mother. I won't, I won't feel bad. You know what beef is? It's when you really can't compete to another dog breeder. And you know it. And you know when you go in the backyard with two pit bulls in the Staffordshire and you probably even got a bad dog back there. You still know you can't braid them bloodlines together to make it look better than somebody else's dog. So that's the reason a lot of people cheat. That's where the beef come in. I think it's a lot of cheating going on inside of the American bully world. The American bully should not as be as his tricolor as it is and the fuck we don't even know don't give two shits about where the Merle come from but it shouldn't be as tricolor as it is Gotti was blue Gray Line then what didn't have all these brand new colors see when you got a brand new color you introduce the brand new dog even lilac where in the hell did lilac come from? What happened to the red pit bulls with the gold eyes? Some of them was red bullies with gold eyes. See, that's beef. When you took them dogs away. I remember, man, we used to have to really, really stop a dog fight. Now, you got to stop a dog stare down. <laughs> They stare each other down like they're going to bite each other. They're not. They're not going to bite each other. If you let them go, they'll salivate to death. They dying when they're doing breeds. People that sat here and told y'all these dogs to die doing breeds. A dog died doing a breeding. <laughs> he died. Isn't that a problem? How did, how did he die? If a wolf died every time he bred, we wouldn't even have no wolves. We wouldn't have no more wolves. If a wolf died every single time that wolf bred, 
we wouldn't have no more wolves. That's beef. You gotta remember, your dog came from the wolf. All the, these dogs normally bred. The wolf went off and found him some other kind of dog, <clears throat> probably a wild dog or a dingo. Bred to one. You know what I mean? And that dog went off and bred to a, a coyote and along came the, the uh, domestic dogs. All deriving from God's dog who bred by itself. And if he would have bred out there in them hot woods or when it was cold out there, ooh, it used to be cold out there, you know what I mean? In Alaska and stuff like that. And them and them and them and wolves are out there. God left them out there. They gotta fend for themselves through glaciers. But they doing it. And breeding on their own and living. They didn't need no store, nutrition store, because they was killing wild animals, and whatever was in those wild animals was making them healthy. This is where the idea of raw comes from when you just sit back and watch National Geographic and go watch them go to Yellowstone Park and see them wolves go up in there. Them wolves ain't got, ain't no clinics, ain't no hospitals or nothing. And if they do get tracked down, it's just because they want to do some research on them. Or sometimes he's a lone wolf. He just wants to be by himself. They do research on dogs like this. See, a lot, of, a lot of people that got dogs don't do no dog research at all. Don't even know that wild dogs are so fast at shredding up a goat. They are so fast at shredding up a cow. They'll shred them up quick because they're the smallest dogs out there. They can't even, you know, really compete with the hyenas. The hyenas can't compete with the lions or any other bigger cat. So since they're the smallest, they got to devour an animal very, very quick. They like to go in through the behind sometime like the hyena do and come out the behind, you know, with his guts, booty and everything going up in there, coming out with it. In order for them wild dogs to do that and accomplish that mission, they got to have teeth. So when they bite these dogs, they ripping off chunks. And they swallowing it because they're going to throw this back up when they get back to the den for their puppies. Now you're making dogs with no teeth. And when they bite normal, it is embarrassing for somebody to even think they're going to call their dog an American bully. And you put him on YouTube and he's eating chicken and then throws it back up. Just throw it. My dog ain't... Man, you should look on there and see Nunu eat some of that chicken. I'll show another dog eating chicken. They are not, they're going to crunch the bones up and eat the chicken. You can hear them crunching it, going straight through it, but we can't hear this with these new dogs. So they be so hungry that they try to shove it down their throat. But, you know, it's such a big piece that it comes back up. And this is all on footage. This is all on videotapes of these dogs. So they can't survive in the cold where God's dogs come from. You know, you're taking out all the, all the nature out the dog. Everything is, I'm just looking at the dog as a whole. The nature even coming out of it. I don't want a dog that don't like to uh, chase things. I, I like my I like a dog that can chase things, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't have dogs that can a dog that can go ca uh, catch a pig. He hasn't been trained like that. But I like that. That's interesting, especially when it comes from the breed that you like. Little bitty terrier dogs going out there digging holes in mounds just to find rats. But now these little little bitty dogs and the American bully dogs, it was a few dogs that I seen in the, in, the, in the show ring that they literally had to pull. The dude didn't even want to walk, man. <laughs> he didn't want to walk. He didn't want to walk because, you know, you could put different dogs in there instead of the band dog. They don't want to put that, uh, 
watchdog up in there. He's too big. Ain't no way they want a dog that look like uh look like throwing knuckles. That's too big, too skinny. See how skinny Knuckles was? Knuckles was proper. The most proper dog in the country. Pretty much one of the best American bullies. Staff, Staffy Bull, whatever you want to call it, that was out at that time. That was a nice dog, man. That was a nice dog. You don't miss nice dogs. You don't miss going out in your yard and some dog coming to greet you or a dog coming to greet you when you come home. I know them exotics don't greet you when you come home. I like exotics, but they can't greet you when you come home. He might not be there when you come home. He might not be there. Neither will your bully if you keep breeding him with that bulldog. He might not be there when you get home. Probably got like four barks in him. Not to that fourth bark. <laughs> he, he's done. That's beef. Beef is when you straight up just cheated the game so tough that it became noticeable and somebody wants to point at you and say, you did it. You did it. You are the cobra. Now you got to stand up with your dogs. You own them. If you own it, can we see if it's one exotic on the paperwork? If it is, would that be considered a bully if there's exotics on the paperwork? This is what I would like to know from the American bully community. Is it okay to put exotics on your paperwork now, is it okay to breed an American bully to an exotic? This is my question to you. I know you hear me. I know you see these videos. See, I'm not going to stop making real ass videos. You know what I mean? I like the American bully like that. So I'm going to make real, real videos talking about it and if i see that this dog is mutating is it okay for all of us to make the dog mutate we know how the fuck is mutating what is it okay for us to do this is the question what is it okay for us to do is it okay because there's so many exotics on the paperwork already Without me even having to say what I'm saying right now. You know it. You see it. You guys have read it over and over and over again on paperwork. Exotic dogs on paperwork that belongs to an American bully dog. This is the dog that they are claiming is an American bully dog, but he has an exotic lineage. Is that American bully? Is that American bully? If he has an exotic lineage, that's American bully? I didn't know that. Damn, I didn't know that because I had a lot of exotics I wanted to breed to. Damn, I didn't know that. Shit, I didn't know that. That's incredible right there. You know what I'm saying? That's incredible. Oh, he's smoking that pot again. <laughs> I'm answering the questions for you people because you know I'm telling the truth. You know I ain't doing nothing but telling the truth right now. It's exotics on the paperwork. The dogs got bulldog faces. They went from box heads to round heads. No, nope, not too many have almond eyes. They have round eyes. You can see that their muzzles have gotten smaller. No more six inch muzzles. Um, they're very brachiocephalic. Their, their arms are, are, are out there way too far. Some of the dogs have got long. They don't even have long tails. They have little short tails, not stubby tails no more, but they have short tails. Um, as far as how long they've been living, 
like five years at the max. <laughs> Yo, that's not funny. Oh, everything, man. Damn. This is not funny, I swear. It's just that, you know, you got to have a sense of humor when you're dealing with this kind of stuff, man. You know what I mean? If you can't laugh about it and joke about it, then you're too serious. You know what I mean? If some of y'all that's just too serious, you're probably the ones that's shoving Bulldog in there. Is he too serious? You want to win. No, man, you can't win all the time by going around what you're supposed to really be doing. You are not going to make anything close to what Razor's Edge was or still is if you incorporate the new blood that you're incorporating. Somehow, some way, it's the wrong blood. It's the wrong blood. The dogs got short. They don't got teeth. Man, I'm talking about their teeth now. <laughs> Dang, I always got something to talk about about them. First, I even talked about their little toenails and feet and things. Just like, look at the dog, man. And, I, and, and, and you know, if you look at the dog, then you should be able to see what I see. A whole complete, total, just breakdown of a dog. He he looks broke down. And if you put a, a one of them real wild cats, you know, like he could be a domestic cat, but a wild one, put him up on the bully. He'll whoop, he'll whoop that bully. <laughs> I ain't telling you to do that. Don't you go do that. Don't you go do that. <laughs> Don't you go do that. But I'm just telling you some truth, though. The bully will probably get smashed by that cat, man. <laughs> Some of them can't even see. You see how blue their eyes are? That's another thing. See how, the, how blue them dogs' eyes didn't got? Y'all ain't paying attention. Y'all not paying attention. Don't never forget the up pushing of the nose. Don't never forget that. Don't never forget. Uh, <clears throat> you might not never see a pied one or a... Uh, a fine one or a Brenda one. Them is the colors of the original Bulldogs, French Bulldogs. So you might not never see them. Them right there, you know. I'm telling you. We exposing and we and we keeping it truthful on face the bully and like I always do around this time. Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully, where I like to talk about dogs. Preferably <laughs> your dog. And my right now it's really you know kind of late really not late it's just dark outside and it's raining and it's 6 43 you know what I mean so I really ain't outside I got a lot of time to talk about dogs man and you know what I'm saying like I say man oh my partner just passed away damn hurts me bad Shout out, man, to my dog, man. His name was Rob, dog. Damn it. Mm, mm, mm. That hurt. But y'all stay prayed up, man. Stay tuned in. Face the bullet.